Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the environmentally friendly barn on the other side? Yeah! Guys, have you noticed how delicious chicken is? Of course! Did you know that a 100 gram chicken breast has 33 grams of protein, only 159 calories, and 2.1 grams of fat? It also has important vitamins and minerals like vitamin B6, B12, niacin, iron, and zinc, so you can like study harder. Even though chicken is delicious and nutritious, it's too bad that broiler farms have some seriously detrimental environmental impacts. Have you guys heard that ammonia is produced from the degradation of nitrogenous compounds found in manure? And that poultry operations have some of the highest levels of recorded ammonia in livestock barns? This is a pretty stinky situation for farmers, since the inhalation of ammonia can lead to some pretty serious lung problems and for Mother Nature. Atmospheric ammonia contributes to several environmental problems, including direct toxic effects on vegetation and air pollution, leading to the acidification of sensitive ecosystems. Those are some seriously ungreen chickens. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? This is a job for Team Green! Conundrum. Plastic netting floors for broilers speeds up the dehydration of manure, reducing the release of ammonia gases. Neato! So, is this where the broiler farm is at? No. This is a train station. I love public transit. It's definitely helping reduce emissions from cars. Speaking of emissions, livestock contribute to 18% of greenhouse gas emissions. I think we're getting close to the farm. Look, it's Frank and Martin. Energy consumption is a problem for all kinds of farms. Luckily, Team Green is here! This farm could reduce its heating and cooling costs by up to as much as 70% by introducing a geothermal energy system. Those are some super awesome benefits for the environment and the farmer. Energy consumption affects feed efficiency and the health of the broiler. I bet geothermal isn't the only source of alternative energy. You're so right. Solar panels can be put on self-facing walls to use the sun to heat the barn during cold winter months. Guys! I'm hungry! Breakfast was so long ago! I want some more Wheaties! If you'd had a balanced breakfast this morning, this wouldn't be happening. If a broiler's diet is properly balanced, we can reduce, reuse, recycle, and repurpose its manure as a super awesome fertilizer source. And poultry droppings typically have fewer weed seeds surviving the digestive process compared to other livestock which means less wasted resources on unwanted weeds and less need for herbicides, which can be particularly ungreen. <gasps> Just look at all that styrofoam that will never decompose naturally! <sighs> Luckily, some companies are converting to the use of recyclable wax alternative boxes, which definitely make chicken a more green food source. But it just tastes better when it's being produced in an environmentally friendly way. Guys, that was a wicked awesome day of eliminating environmental enemies. I have to say, it was a job well done. Go Team Green! We rock! Well, can we into the barn? 